GraphQL subscriptions lay the foundations to subscribe to how data changes. Subscriptions are great for knowing what and why data changed. If you're working with real-time data, such as a chat application or a notification system, then GraphQL subscriptions will get you quite far. GraphQL subscriptions are often used with WebSockets, but we'll leave that for another lesson. Today, we'll explore using server sent events, which comes as the default transport mechanism for GraphQL Yoga. GraphQL, and more specifically PubSub, is extracted within the GraphQL Yoga package, so you don't need to deal with things like generators or async iterators yourself, but just use the API that GraphQL Yoga provides for its PubSub bus. Here we have a simple server where we can send a mutation, and we want to subscribe to messages that are sent to individual rooms. If we explore the schema, we have a query where we can get a list of all messages from our room where we pass the ID. We'll not actually be implementing this today. Then we have a mutation where we can input a new message and we can pass the room ID, who it's from and what the body of that message contains. Then finally, we want to implement the subscription today that allows us to subscribe to new messages for a specific room. We won't subscribe to every message that's sent, but instead we'll only subscribe to new messages where we have the room ID passed inside of our GraphQL subscription. Let's take a look at what we have in our server so far. We are using GraphQL Yoga, we are import some type definitions, and we have some type safety with our resolvers. Here we have a simple resolver map that returns an empty array for our room. Then we also have a mutation, and we have our empty subscription. Today we will implement our subscription and mutation to publish messages and subscribe to messages for our subscription. First, let's go ahead and import create pub sub from GraphQL Yoga node. Then further on down, let's create a new const and we'll call this pub sub. We'll invoke create pub sub. Now with this pub sub, let's go ahead and pass this as context to our server. So this is now available inside of all of our resolvers for mutation, queries, and that all important subscription. We can see that this takes a generic pub sub publish args by key. So what this actually means is inside of here, we can describe the topic and what the payload looks like. We'll call this new message. And for the payload, we'll define the type here as a new object. We'll match what we have for our message in our GraphQL schema. If we look at our message type, we can see that from and body are both of the type string. So let's match that inside of our payload here. With that saved, we can now use that inside of our GraphQL mutation resolver. Because we passed PubSub to our context, we can destructure this here. Then inside of our mutation, we can call pubsub.publish. Then we can pass in new message. Then we can pass our dynamic topic room ID and we can pass that all important new message. If we open our GraphQL schema and we look at the input type for our mutation send, we can see here that we are destructuring the room ID and then spreading into a new variable, new message, everything else. We then publish to the topic new message with the specific dynamic room ID and the message. Then to satisfy GraphQL and the return type, we just need to return the new message. Right now, this is publishing messages, but we've got no way to subscribe. That's what we'll do inside of our resolver for subscribe. We'll ignore the first argument, and from the second, we'll grab the room ID, and then from our context, we can fetch pubsub. Then using pubsub, we can subscribe to our new topic, new message, and we'll need to pass that important room ID so we know which room to listen on. We'll then pass along the payload as is. Now back inside of Graphical, we can run a new subscription. Here we'll provide the subscription keyword and we'll call new message. We'll provide the room ID one and then we'll fetch the fields that we want. We'll call from and body. If we run this, this is now waiting for any new messages that are published to the new message topic. Now, if we go back to the other Graphical, we can then post a mutation. If we execute this, we can see on the right that we have a new message. If I update this to include the room ID two and run this again, and we'll update the content, you'll notice here that nothing is changed. This is because it's listening to the room with the ID of one. If we change this to two, stop and restart. Now, if we post this, we can then see that message is published to that room. If we open our dev tools here, we can see that we're using an event stream. GraphQL Yoga uses server sent events by default, but it has some limitations that you'll want to look into. GraphQL subscriptions also work with WebSockets, but this can often lead to complexity on the front end with having to manage multiple sockets and connections. Everything you've seen in this video works great in development, but you'll want to use something like MQTT or Redis in production to persist messages and topics between clients. We'll cover these in another video.